and welcome to another dope edition of BET Breaks Africa. Guys, I'm Folu Storms, and over the next few minutes, I will be serving you the top entertainment and culture stories from the African continent and around the world. So ready or not, here we go. Big news right now. It is the biggest buzzing news right now, and it's got to be that Pennsylvania's highest court has overturned Bill Cosby's conviction and judgment of sentencing, saying that his due process rights were violated. <gasps> so the verdict stated that the former district attorney's decision to prosecute Mr. Bill Cosby was unfair because he breached an agreement that was signed with the actor. You see, the deal was that if Cosby testified in a civil deposition, he would not face trial criminally and so the agreement convinced Bill Cosby to make incriminating statements about drugging women but was ultimately then used against him at trial and the 79 page verdict has detailed that the 83 year old comedian cannot be retried on this case hmm Diamond Platinum's label the African Michael Jackson okay Things have been going pretty well for Tanzanian Diamond Platinums. And to be fair, from inking a partnership deal with Warner Music Group a couple months back to being nominated for Best International Act at the BT Awards 2021, again, he was recently spotted in a video online at a studio session flanked by Busta Rhymes, Swiss Beats, OT Genesis, and others. And in this video, Busta Rhymes specifically talks about diamonds, saying, let me zoom in, let me zoom in on Michael Jackson from Africa, Diamond Platinums. That's high praise, y'all. Now, this is not the first time that Diamond is working with uh, the producer Swiss Beats, but clearly there are new developments in the works, in the offing, and we should expect to be treated to more great music and collabs. And as always, it's Africa to the world, baby. You know the vibes. Obi Franklin is not taking the Father Abraham jokes at all. I know it's Friday, but you know, stop it. The internet can be a savage place, and popular Nigerian talent manager and entrepreneur Obi Franklin is meeting the savagery with violence. Well known for being in the news courtesy of his baby mamas, people have been teasing him recently, calling him Father Abraham. And Ubi says he will not take his. Yeah, the manager noted that there are many celebrities who are sugar daddies and sponsors for numerous side chicks, and he has been calm because he's a decent person. But he did go on to threaten that since everybody wants to be petty, he too, he can be petty. He will start posting pictures of sugar girls and their sugar daddies. Yeah, abu. He also said that he will soon post a photo of a man who has numerous women on his hands but likes to use Ubi as the center of his jokes, which he recently did at an award show. <clears throat> he has warned everyone to stay in their lane because he has receipts and Ubi is willing to release them. So, as he said, Mekuna no try Ubi, yo. Oh. No try on. I am stormstruck this Friday by Casper Neo Vest out with a new album. Hey! Friday is for the vibes, you get me, the actual vibes. So that's how South African heavyweight rapper Casper Neo Vest has graced us this Friday uh, with a new project titled Sweet and Short 2.0. And it is for you and me, guys, that's right. It's a 10 track album and the second installment of his Sweet and Short series featuring some excellent artists, including Sam Ting Soweto with the vocals, DJ Somebody, Ma Lemon, Lady Dua, and more. Now it's a Friday, so definitely we keeping it short and sweet for you on breaks today, just to make sure that you enjoy the vibes, guys. I want to thank you for rocking with me because just like that, we've come to the end of BT Breaks Africa for right now. I will be back on your screens again, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 8.25 p.m. WAT. So until our paths cross again, I'm sending you all so much love and light by storms, baby.